Hello everyone, Ronald Riggs here from Chargers TV, bringing you a special edition of the show, and we're going to focus on some of our younger players uh, in this edition, as the Under-18 National Junior Championships are coming up, and that will be held in, in Werribee in Victoria from April 10 through to April 17. Now, we have five representatives from the South in the state under-18 side. We have three of those players uh, that train with the women's squad. So let's throw the team list up for you now. And it's Jasmine Ashland, Sorry Banks, and Eliza Vanderkamp. They're the three that, that train with the Chargers women's squad. And then the other two players are Chloe Kiddo and Holly Nash as well too. Now, we caught up with the head coach of the women's side, Mark Nash, to get his thoughts about the girls making the state side. Mark, we have three uh, representatives from our Chargers group going to the under-18 nationals. You must be very happy to see these girls getting a chance to represent Tasmania. Yeah, it's extremely exciting to see uh, our Tasmanian state teams preparing to go to Werribee, especially after the disappointment of uh, 2020 with COVID, just cancelling out that tournament. So for some of these players, it's, a, it's an opportunity to uh, make up for lost time, so to speak. And it's been just absolutely fantastic to start uh, transitioning some of those players into our Chargers programs. There's a number of those players with the Launceston Tornado. So, you know, Tasmanian basketball is really booming in the women's side of the game. And it's great to see those athletes now, you know, making the step from juniors also into our NBL1 programs. How have you seen the, um, the growth and development of, of, of these young ladies that are now getting to the next level? Yeah, well, I've coached some of these girls since they were in under-14s. Um, so Zoe Banks and Chloe Kiddo, Jazz Ashland, I, I coached them when they were at a tri-series a number of years ago in under fourteen. So to be able to see their development over the last number of years and now seeing them running around with the Chargers logo on the shirt is uh, is just great. And that's really what we're about here at the Chargers is providing pathways for, for local Tasmanians here in Southern Tasmania. And uh, I, I see a sense of excitement uh, in their eyes as well when they step on the court uh, for their first training. And it's just been uh, you know really fantastic. And you will hear from Eliza as well shortly. Just just great to have these, uh, these players in the squad. And, and their preparation going into these national championships, uh, they must be looking on track to, um, to be ready to go. Yeah, it's a really uh, comprehensive uh, preparation time and there's been a lot of camps. I had the um, opportunity to watch the players uh, during the Olveston tournament, uh, which is a great tournament, playing against senior, uh, senior teams from right across the state earlier in the year and the teams have been very successful there. So I think a really comprehensive um, preparation, like a lot, a lot of our programs, uh, injuries sort of hit a number of players, so that's, that slows things down from time to time. But... Um, you know, those teams will be raring to go uh, come Oz champs in a couple of weeks' time. So the thoughts there from head coach Mark Nash, and now we're going to hear from the three girls. We're going to hear from Jasmine, Zoe and Eliza. We asked them about how excited they are about representing Tasmania at the upcoming National Junior Championships and what are the team expectations and also any personal ex expectations they may have at the tournament. Yeah, I'm really keen, especially since last year we didn't get to head off, so hoping to have a good year this year. Um, well, as a team, we're going in with the goal of getting top eight, so that's just our overall goal to try and get in the best ranking we can, and just for myself, just go out and give my best each game. And Yeah, it's really exciting, especially considering, you know, a lot of girls missed out last year, and it's, yeah, just a great opportunity to see what talent's going around in Australia at the moment. Um, yeah, so as a team, we're looking to finish top eight and obviously, you know, exceed expectations that are put on us. It's going to be a tough week, but, you know, we'll do our best. Uh, individually, I just more want to show the work that I've put in over the last 12 months and, like, help my team with the skills that I've got. And, yeah. Yes, I am. It's my first one, well, this year, because I didn't get to go last year and I was a reserve in under 16, so, yeah, this is... Really exciting to now go away and represent the state. Um, for myself, I think I've got some things, some expectations of what I need to do over there myself. Um, but yeah, the team, we're looking to try and get top eight at least and push ourselves to our best. So the thoughts there from Jasmine, Zoe and Eliza. And again, on behalf of everyone here at the Hobart Chargers, we wish you the best of luck for the upcoming championships and congratulations on making the state under-18 side. We are very proud of all of you. 
and we do wish the whole state under 18 side the best of luck at the to- at the tournament as well too. You can follow the Hobart Chargers on their social media. You can give us a like on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. You can give us a follow on Instagram. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. So don't forget to keep up to date with all the goings on here at the Hobart Chargers. Uh, first home game is April 17. We're opening up with the Derby against Launceston Tornadoes and the Northwest Thunder. Myself and JB will be back on air over the next week or so to preview the season opener here at home and to go through all the other news as well too. Some big announcements coming your way here on Chargers TV and until then we'll see you again soon